हेलो गाइज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली के कान एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू प्ले लिस्ट विच इज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस प्ले लिस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन अ वेरी डिटेल्ड मैनर एंड इन अ वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड मैनर राइट सो यू आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हेयर इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर रिविजन सेशन राइट सो वी ऑल नो सम ऑफ द बेसिक थिंग्स राइट बट वी आर unaware how do we practice these things for our exams right and how do we uh, manage to cover all of the syllabus for science and technology part so here we can start our discussion right so first thing that we are going to discuss today is the crop production and management here we are going to see what is a crop what is agriculture what are the different agriculture practices and what are the different tools which are associated with different agriculture practices these things might be coming in your exam so uh, let's start with the introduction to the nomadic people who were nomadic people who were uh, moving here and there they were not having any permanent shelter they were not growing the crop right so what is a crop crop is the plant of the same type which are cultivated at the same place so if you at your roof of your house are cultivating the plants of the same type like let's suppose you are cultivating brinjal plants at your roof so it would be called a crop right so now in the 10000 bc nomadic people were not uh, growing any kind of crop they were just eating raw vegetable raw fruit or they were hunting animals or they were eating them raw right but now that when they uh, started getting settled down they started growing the crops right so now uh, i hope you understood what is a crop now we have two types of crop depending upon the season in which we are growing them right india is a place where we have the different type of seasons different temperature range for the different state different rain seasons for the different state different climatic condition different monsoon timings for the different states but overall we are following two types of crop pattern first is the kharif crop second is the rabi crop right so what is a kharif crop kharif crop is sown in the rainy season and from where we can classify the rainy season has begun from the month of june to the september i can say we are growing the kharif crops right and uh, rabi crop is sown in the winter season and we are growing it in the winter season from october to march right so from october to march whatever crops you are going to see uh, in in the various fields that would be rabi crops and in the rainy season it would be kharif crops so let's take some examples of the kharif and the rabi crops so for the kharif we have paddy maize we have cotton we have groundnut right so, so we have soya bean as well so these are the examples of the kharif crop now coming to the rabi crop rabi crop are wheat gram pea maize and then we have some kind of uh, uh, vegetables which are also grown in the winter season so all of these are rabi crops so now i hope you understood what is a crop what are the two types of crop now moving on towards the agriculture practices what are the different agriculture practices so first we are going to have the soil preparation here uh, as the name suggest we are going to prepare the soil what we are going to prepare in the soil we are going to loosen out the soil why we require to loosen out the soil soil is required to be loosen out so that air can penetrate deep inside towards the root water can move and reach to the roots of the plants right even some friendly microbes can grow inside the soil which are going to give the nutrients to the plants so the uh, soil preparation is a very important part of the agriculture right so when uh, you are preparing your soil you have to loosen out the soil if you have any crumbs you have to break them so that plant can grow there right so there should not be any thick part of the soil like a rock so you have to break them right so how do you break them with the help of pluff so pluff is a it's a tool which is used by some animals so it will be having a pluff shaft right so it will be uh, tied to the various animals like bulls like camels 
like uh, you you will be having buffaloes as well so this these pluffs are used to make the sand loosen out right or ground loosen out right with the help of pluff it's a metal kind of structure which is holded on a wooden structure right then we have the hoe so hoe is again a metal structure iron structure which is uh, tied on a wooden structure again it is used for the uh, making the uh, soil loosen out but these two are using the manual power they are not using any uh, any kind of machinery so now here we can have cultivator also which is a tractor which is used for the pluffing of the field right so now here uh, the pluffing is done with the help of a tractor or a machine so this kind of uh, uh, method will require less amount of human power right so the tilling or pluffing can be done with the help of pluff hoe or cultivator right so now coming to the next part which is the sowing now we have loosen out soil we have to sow the seeds into it so we should first choose the good quality seeds so how do we see which uh, seed is a good quality seed we can use the water we can dip in them inside the water the seed which are not of good quality will float on the water and the good quality seed will rest down right so this is how we can uh, see which quality seed we have or we can have some uh, some shops from where we can get the good quality seeds right so seeds are now coming in the different varieties as well we have hybrided uh, varieties as well so now we have various traditional tool like we have uh, the funnel kind of structure which is going to put the seeds down inside the soil right so these funnel kind of structure maybe it is going to put two seeds at a time or three seeds may be going at a time but we have a uh, seed drill which is a mechanized machine so this machine is going to put one seed at a time at a particular interval it is going to put the different seeds so if i put the seed inside the soil there should be some distance between the two seeds and we have to maintain the constant distance if we have overcrowding of of the seed at a particular point so at that time uh, they will be competing for the sunlight for the water for the air so for uh, avoiding that possibility we will be using the seed drill right which is more mechanized and with the help of seed drill we are going to cover again the soil back with the soil so that the uh, the birds will not be eating it so with the help of traditional tools with the help of uh, the funnel type of structure we were not able to cover it with the soil so now we have to put the appropriate distance between the seeds that i have already explained now after that we have the next method which is adding manure and the fertilizer so what does adding manure and the fertilizer mean we can add manure or we can add fertilizers both are they are uh, the methods which are used to increase the nutrient capability of the soil so why we require nutrients nutrients are required for the healthy growth of the plant right the plant will be growing healthily if i supply various nutrients we can have manure or we can have fertilizers so manure is an organic matter which is produced in the open pit in the fields itself around the field we can have some open pit and there microbes can degrade the excreta and the remaining material like the left out leaves and the left out plants and this is how we can produce the manure so it can be composed with the help of decomposed materials then we have fertilizers which is the chemical and it is only produced in the factories now when i use the manure we have uh, the possibility of holding more of water they have high water retention capability which the fertil fertilizers are not having right so manure can also have some porous structure which is going to give some scope for the air to penetrate inside and this is how manures are better than the fertilizers now manure can be uh, manufactured in the open pit so these are relatively cheaper than the fertilizers now the fertilizers because the fertilizers are chemicals they can go and uh, pollute the water underground water as well so fertilizers are the chemical substances which are avoided nowadays and we have the organic substances organic food which is using the manure right so now uh, the third thing that we can do is using the crop rotation procedure for one season we are 
sowing one type of crop and for the next season we are sowing the different type of crop so that uh, their production will not degrade the nutrient quality of the soil one type of crop will consume the nutrients and another type of crop will provide th those kind of nutrients to the soil so for example we have the leguminous plants and uh, here the leguminous plant are grown after the wheat or maize so that it is having the rhizobium bacteria which is going to fix the atmospheric nitrogen the in the root of the leguminous plant the rhizobium bacteria is going to stay so rhizobium bacteria bacteria will be getting a home right and it is going to fix the atmospheric nitrogen so the the soil will become the nitrogen rich soil avoid the using of fertilizer and manure if i have this type of crop rotation right so uh, these are the three methods then we have the irrigation what does irrigation mean irrigation means the regular supply of the water so that uh, the the crop will be tolerating the heat shocks right so in the summers we can have some heat shocks which are coming at very high temperature will be going to the fields to avoid uh, the plants getting damaged due to that we were using the regular supply of water water is trying to cool down the plants right so we have two systems we have traditional system and we have the modern method in the traditional system we use moat we use chain pump we used hekli and we used rahat so these are all of the methods which are wasting a lot of water we cannot uh, use these method without wasting water right then we have the modern method like sprinkler system and drip system where drip system is a very efficient method by which we can uh, reduce the water getting wasted so the drip system is used wherever we have the shortage of waters and now the drip system is used in more of the advanced agriculture practices as well sprinkler system is a system where we have a nozzle connected to a pump so the nozzle is used to uh, spread the water on the different crops so different sprinklers are placed at a different distance of the crop now after that we have the protection from on weeds weeds what are weeds weeds are the undesirable plants which are coming so why we require to remove weeds weed are competing with the plant for the nutrients for the water for the air so they are consuming the nutrients of the main plant or the water of the main plants and the air that is going for the main plant so we have to remove them so that the main plant can grow very easily so how to remove them we can use the khurpi or we can use the weedy side so khurpi is a mechanical tool but weedy sides is a uh, is a chemical and if the farmer is using the weedy side he has to be very careful while dealing with the chemicals right now coming to the harvesting so harvesting is done after the crop crop has matured we have to remove it we have to cut it right so harvesting is done with the sickle with the help of machine right so with the help of sickle we can uh, harvest our crop we can cut down it and with the help of some machines which are using the tractors also we can harvest the crop so machine are the advanced techniques which are used in the uh, most of the advanced countries now after that we have the storage so how do we store the output so when we have grown some uh, some kind of crop so mostly they farmers use a wheat or jute bag to store it right so we can use uh, silos or we can use the granaries also to store them so these are the uh, various storage places where we can store only this is used for the only purpose of storage of the crops right so here we can use the neem crops for the protection of them from the insects or we can use various insecticides also so that various insects won't be degrading it we have to take a good uh, control over the humidity over the temperature also so that the crops will not get degraded so this is how i end up this chapter so i hope you understood each and everything if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much